What's up guys, Cool here and today with a new video so we get some really really interesting news regarding the next equipment creation event and this also means that we will get some stuff regarding the next banner in the next few days but yeah let's just jump right into it, it's really really cool actually. So if the site will load, yep, we are going to, okay so the other ranking event is over and we already get our equipment creation event for the next ranking. And the equipment creation event starts tomorrow at 6 am UTC and it's called the Strict Hermit. And yeah, as always, if you clear Master or Master Plus One and get an S rank, which means if you do it under 45 seconds, then you will get um, an additional freestyle equipment in the chest at the end, or you have the chance of getting one in the chest. And if you clear it on S rank for the Master Plus One, your chest equipment piece will be level 20, but the other ones you get from the and dungeon will still be level 1, but yeah, if it's over 20, it's still a lot faster to upgrade and will cost you a lot less crystals to upgrade. So definitely try to do the master plus 1 if you can, at least till you get 3 pieces of the accessory. And yeah, you should definitely also do it in multiplayer as it's just way faster, in most cases. And yeah, so what are we going to have with this? We've got an advantage as always for the next ranking event and a boss this time is... Um, non-elemental, yeah. And the boss will target the character with the highest amount of hate. Okay, that's like always. A non-elemental crap. Um, should be this crap, this hermit crap probably. Yep. He is really, really annoying. But I think he also came in the movie Ordinal Scale, so that's pretty cool. Hopefully he looks a little bit more like it. And yeah. What can we get from this? Um, he will drop the equipment symbol of the diva OS ranker code and OS diva dress. So this time it's three pieces. And first we have the accessory, which a certain character in game has. Symbol of the diva. Then we have the OS ranker code and the OS diva dress. So as you guys can see, what are we going to get? Probably the ordinal scale version three characters as I would like to call them, and this time they're from the dark element, so that's really interesting. So we can almost be 99% sure that the next banner will be a complete um, dark banner, and the next ranking boss will be holy element, so that's what this probably means. And for the accessory, and um, the diva dress, we can most likely think that we're going to get Yuna, not 100% sure, but... Yeah, like 99% sure, maybe it's going to be Asuna dressed like Yuna uh, or stuff like this. And for the ranker codes, so we will have a chance of getting AG or IG, I don't know how to call them. The one from the Ordinal Scale movie. That dude who thinks he is really, really cool and yeah, the almost best player in the game, but still, he didn't never make it to rank 1, he's a noob. And yeah, that would be pretty cool, but. We also may have the chance that Bamco is going to troll us and we're just going to get some random Kirito who's dressed like AG. Yeah, I'm I'm almost 99% sure that they're going to troll us, we're not going to get AG or IG and yeah. Uh, also I think uh, that's for two characters, we will get definitely two additional characters and maybe Kirito and Asuna which would be pretty cool with the um, OS Ranker code and the Diva dress. Mm, but yeah, I think we're definitely going to get an Asuna. I think most or almost all ranking banners had an Asuna. That will be pretty decent. And I think Yuna will be... Yeah, I think she will be a rapier unit if we get a Yuna and AG of course will be a sword unit. If we get Kirito, most likely also a sword unit. Don't think that we're going to see another dual blade unit here. And definitely don't think we're getting um, one of those gun units in here of the new generation. Um, yeah, I think other than this, we just need to see how we're going to get. And yeah, it's definitely starting tomorrow and we're going to get the banner. Banner announcement should be on... Huh, it's either tomorrow or on Wednesday. Almost sure it's on Wednesday and then we will get the banner on Thursday. So that's, that's the earliest we're going to get the banner probably and also the ranking event there. So yeah, the other ranking event is over, we will get the rewards in a few days. And not much to do currently, 
that if you cleared everything. I will upload my, um, what's it called, floor clearing event. I've just recently done it because I had a lot to do with sort of online fatal bullet. This game is pretty fun, but yeah, the cutscenes, oh my god, the cutscenes. That's where the first two hours I only talk. Yeah, luckily we made it on rank 1. And definitely going to do some mental scouts if we get our rewards. How much are we going to get for this? We're going to get 60 medals, uh, 10 silver and 10 bronze. So I already made her a 5 star, so I don't care, really care about the upgrade crystals. And uh, that's what we are going to get. Um, already farmed the Ankrod dungeon, cleared, as I said, the Quartz of Fleur clearing, and going to upload videos for that pretty soon. And for this, I have like 3200 EP left. I'm not so sure what I want to get for us. Maybe we're going to get another material or stuff like this. Um, definitely don't really want the uh, weapon, so I will most likely go for the exchange swords just because there's more use for them. And yeah, th you don't really want the void medallions, and yeah, you can just get them from the exchange shop if you really need them, but most of the time you can just farm them. Um, these things you can definitely farm, so there's no need for those. Keys, don't really need those. So what I recommend would be uh, definitely first the upgrade crystals, then the rainbow senses, and lastly the memory diamonds. I have the feeling that we had a lot more EP this time. So this weapon um, is really bad, even upgraded as a 4 star. So there really is absolutely no need to get it. You will most likely get a better version of this weapon sometime in the game. And for the exchange swords, yeah, they're pretty decent, so I would think I will go for them and see whatever I have left I will use for something else. But yeah, other than this, that's it. And that's it for this video guys, thanks for watching. If you liked it, then please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, as this helps me out a lot. Also tell me down in the comments below what you guys think about the Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet game, or if you're playing it yourself, or if you want to get it. And yeah, I would really like to hear about it from you guys. And don't forget to press the bell button as you will get a notification if I upload a new video. And yeah, that's it for this video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.